So now we have uh, DGB uh, Ryu, uh, just uh, killing off the uh, uh, Vega from last time. <laughs> and trying to show off too. <laughs> and he's going up against C Vital, the qualifier, the qualifier from Texas Showdown. DGV, of course, qualified at a super arcade qualifier. Along with uh, Afro Legends, if I remember. Yes. Uh huh. I think Afro Legends was voted in, wasn't he? Or Oh, no, Damdai was voted in. Yeah, Damdai was yeah, the fan yeah, vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you <laughs> So, uh, a really uh, classic matchup, uh, Ryu versus Dalsum. Nice. See it a lot. There we go with the uh, Nogi pressure. But tries to bait something out, but... Kind of unsuccessful. Gets a hurricane kick to the face. DGV playing aggressively patient. Yeah. <laughs> he's going That's in. That's one way to say it. But he's waiting just in case C Vital does anything. And he's just using that fireball to chip him. Get him a little more worried. But he put himself in the corner here. Which can be a problem. Okay. Swap the distance. Oh. Tried to clean drill that hurricane. But ended up with a trade, unfortunately, for C-Vital. Now, uh, on paper, this matchup is uh, in Dalsum's favor. Yes. Uh, I remember uh, it was either Daigo or Shooting D said uh, the most viable thing in this matchup is a random DP from Ryu just to start <laughs> pressure. <laughs> yep. And you That's know what? the only thing he has. One of the most interesting strategies I've ever seen. <laughs> there we DP. go. One of the most random strategies I've ever seen was when Daigo was fighting Dave Spence in a top eight at EVO. Spence was using Dalsum and, and Daigo was using Ryu. And all he did was whiff jab uppercuts from across the screen. He got hit by Fierce. He didn't care. He just kept doing it until he built up a meter. And then all of a sudden, Spence couldn't do anything because he was so scared of the super that, yeah, he just froze up. Yeah. And he just let Daigo walk at him. So. Yep. It's, it's a really uh, weird matchup that's uh, heavily influenced by Super, yep. uh, which is a lot of uh, Ryu and uh, Balrog matchups, especially, uh, and to an extent, like DJ. Um, but, uh, and also Chun Li. Right, also right. Chun Li yeah, Super, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those uh, Supers that just, pull, just pulls the matchup you know, in your favor. You and in some cases, it's absolutely vital, like that Chum versus O Saget match. Yeah, where you have to build the super <laughs> just to just to compete in that match. Yep. Oh, DGV just walking into the drill. Nice counter with that stand fierce. Pops him out of the air. Gives him a lot more frame advantage for positioning and meaty fireballs. See, Vital trying to jump with a fireball, but uh, drills himself into it. Not exactly a good look. All right. See, now DGV has the super. So C Vital has to be a little bit more uh, concerned about throwing fireballs. And you see how this has opened up the field for DGV. You see him pumping right there for yeah. the super. And, and C Vital recognizes that as much as anyone else. So, and now that he's got him, you can expect to see more fireballs being thrown. And from more C normals Vital. too. Yep. A nice grab. Nice oh, but it doesn't kill him. Uh -oh. oh, no, too oh, late. Too late, yep. He almost would have been better off hitting him with a jump roundhouse so he landed on his feet instead of on his back. It's a baby zone matchup, baby. <laughs> All right. Oh, DGV gets knocked down. Oh, oh. Got a, there was a DP. Random uppercuts. Oh, great oh, wake wow. up jab. Anti air there. See, Vital uh, kind of shutting down whenever uh, DGV is really close to him. And for a good reason. Uh, DGV, really oh, wild player wow. up front. Nice play from DGV. He is up one game and one round. Nice low fork fireball. See Vital seeming a little, uh, I want to say, a little inexperienced in this matchup. Uh, not knowing his prime spacing for standing around us to stuff out the fireballs. Yeah, and he also had trouble. I mean, he lost to John, uh, I think he lost to John Choi. Oh, he lost to Choi's Sagat earlier. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, but DGV now going up two games to zero. And look at that look on C Vital's face. He knows Dalsum is his main character, and he's frustrated that he's losing this match. He's trying to think to himself, what kind of adjustment can I make? Or a different character I could choose. And he's hovering over Chun-Li. That's definitely, that's definitely a major adjustment yeah. right there. You uh, know, uh, it, in a way, it's kind of counterpicking yourself. <laughs> uh, but if he can get the super up uh, really fast, he can make uh, things happen for him. 
Yep, and Chun-Li, that's why she's okay with engaging in a fireball war with Ryu. It's because she's gonna gain meter way faster than Ryu. But so far, he has not done anything to build any meter yet. And Ryu has a full meter. There we go, there's the uh, neutral jump. Nice, very strong. Oh, oh, no. There we go, nice three hit, clean combo. Yep, and DGV at match point. See, Vital playing a little bit too reserved, seems like. I'd like to see him, if he's not going to build meter, I'd like to see him just like walk up, disrespect him and throw or something like that. <laughs> yeah, but DGV right now doing a great job keeping her out and a spinning bird kick with new Chun-Li. Very yeah. odd choice, probably not what he meant to do. And this should, oh, he can get in. Just keep going, just go. No, go. Just, uh, no, oh, never mind. Don't run okay. into the fireball. Sorry, our bad. <laughs> Sorry, you shouldn't have listened to us. What do we know? What do we know? Yeah. <laughs>